Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> No! Sweet liberty! No! <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force. Super Earth needs you on the front lines. And not having access to your PC is simply not a good excuse to not be doing your part. If you're a Steam Deck owner and you love this game, then listen up, cadet, because you can absolutely be spreading managed democracy from the toilet. And from this point on, you should be. This video has two quick and pretty easy ways to optimize your experience depending on your choice between frame rate or graphics. So now, you don't really have a good excuse to not be out there killing bugs or automatons. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get on with this and get you back in the fight. Dive for humanity, dive for democracy. This first setting is for the best performance and it's quick and easy. Head straight into settings, option 3, and right down to graphics. Setting the graphics preset to low will get you the absolute best performance that you can expect. Also, head to display and make sure that frame rate limit is turned off so that you can see clear past the average 30 FPS for better frames. You're also going to want to make sure you have your Steam Deck's performance settings set to normal. To do this, scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Reset. And that's going to zero out all the settings back to your defaults. Also, scroll back up and make sure that your frame limit is disabled as well. This setting is for performance and it's easy to do. So, if you're noticing that the picture is a little bit fuzzy, you're not crazy. The target here is not designed to be pretty, but it's high frame rate, and it's designed to be as easy as possible. Details are going to be lacking, but frames are very high, and it's extremely playable. The next setting is going to be more balanced and it's going to give you a good set of graphics and performance. This setting is targeting 30 FPS with good visuals. For this one, you're going to want to head back to display and limit the frame rate to 30 FPS. This is going to allow for a little extra headroom as the deck isn't trying to hit the highest FPS possible and that'll give us some wiggle room for some pretty graphics. Go next to the graphics and set the graphics preset to medium, then scroll down to screen space global illumination and turn it off. This particular setting gives me trouble with my AMD card on my PC, so I figure if we're going to make up a little bit of a boost, this is a good thing to turn off as it doesn't make any real noticeable difference on my PC and you're definitely not going to see that here. Also, you're going to want to make sure that the sharpness is set to 0.75. It's the default, and I don't think it should change itself on its own, but on the off chance it does, make sure that's where it's sitting. Make sure you apply your settings, and then back out of the menu. Once out, hit the three dot button on the Steam Deck. We're looking at performance now. Set the frame rate here to 30 FPS as well and set scaling filter to FSR 
and FSR sharpness to 5. I played several missions with this particular set of settings, and I definitely decided that I would rather see prettier graphics with slightly less frames than the first option. This is my favorite of the two, and I think it's the most rounded. For a little extra clarity, you can head into display settings and set render scale to quality, but it will cost you a few extra frames. That being said, it's still doable and it will sharpen up the picture. So use this if you think it's getting a little too fuzzy and play with it at will. You can change these settings on the battlefield or aboard your ship, so don't be shy and find which you prefer and test it out. These two versions are more than enough, in my humble opinion, to get you up and running and having a blast. Now, they can be tweaked a bit, but I think these are the quickest and easiest, achieving the best results possible, and will get you onto the front lines and spreading managed democracy to your heart's content. So what's the bottom line? This game is really good. It's really fun, and it runs really well on the Steam Deck, especially considering how early in this game's life cycle it really is. The deck is a beast, and it handles this pretty well depending on how you set it up. I've inserted some footage of the deck being filmed as it plays this, but most of the footage was taken while docked, just for the record. I imagine as time goes on, we will see a lot more optimization but as it stands now, playing it on the deck is a really great option, especially on the go. Let me know if you find this helpful. I really appreciate you checking this out and making it all the way to the end of this video. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. If you haven't already, a like on the video and a sub to the channel goes a really long way in helping me to get these kinds of videos out to more folks, so it's greatly appreciated. Anytime you want, feel free to come and hang out and chat with me while I'm live, both here on YouTube and on Twitch. Those links are in the description of the video. We can talk about all things space game related, survival, Steam Deck, speculation, you name it. We've probably talked about it at some point on stream. I'm live every weekday, so anytime you want to swing by. All right, well, that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the front lines, Helldiver. Thank you very much once again, and I'll see you soon.